Hello everyone and welcome to this weekly technical analysis video here at XM.com. So we are going to start with the US CPI figures that released on Tuesday and that will be crucial as they might determine whether FOMC members vote for 25 basis points or a 15 basis point rise. The month over month rises for both the headline and the core CPI are predicted to grow by 0.4% in February indicating a similar sluggish pattern. So looking at dollar yen, we can see that the price is creating the fourth consecutive red day and is approaching the 23.6% FIBO of 132.95 taken from this down leg here after the several attempts to surpass the 200 day SMA. So if there is a drop beneath the 50 day SMA, then the price it may challenge the 129.80 support level and even lower this region here of 127.25 to 128. On the flip side, if there is a climb above the 38.2% FIBO of 136.66, then the market it may move again towards the 137.90 resistance and even higher towards the 50% FIBO of 139.60, suggesting more gains. Looking now at the technical oscillators, the RSI is holding beneath the 50 level, while the, the MACD oscillator is losing momentum beneath its trigger line. Moving forward, we're going to see, or to, to see on Thursday the ECB meeting that will almost certainly implement to its third consecutive increase of 50 basis points, bringing the deposit rate to 3%, the highest level since 2008. So looking at euro dollar now, we can see that the price here is holding near the 23.6% FIBO at 1.0680 after the, after the failed attempt to surpass the 50-day SMA. So if there is a climb above it, then it may challenge the 1.08 resistance ahead of the 1.1013 barrier and even higher the 1.1180 that would endorse the bullish outlook. On the other hand, any movements beneath the upturn line, it may challenge the 200 exponential moving average and the 1.0530 level, which is a 7-week low, changing the outlook to bearish if there is a drop below it. So the next support will be the 1.0480 ahead of the 38.2% FIBO at 1.0460. The MACD oscillator is holding above its trigger line while the RSI is pointing slightly down near the 50 level. Finally, we're going to look at Aussie dollar and the Australian employment report that will, uh, report that will come up on Thursday. And after losing 11.5k jobs in January, another dismal February report will lower expectations for the RBA to raise rates. And also the unemployment rate is, is expected to tick down to 3.6% from 3.7% before. So if we're going to have positive figures, then the price, it may move higher, reaching the 0.6690 resistance and the bearish crossover within the 20 and the 200 days SMAs around 0.6768 ahead of the 0.6857 resistance near the 50 day SMA at 0.6870. So any movements above this uptrend line here, it may switch the outlook back to bullish. However, if the price continues this downward movement that started from the 8 month high of 0.7160, then the market it may challenge the 0.6385 support and even lower this region here. While the, the MACD oscillator is still, is still moving beneath its trigger and zero lines, however, the RSI is pointing upwards, mirroring this latest upward movement on price. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching. I have a great day.